All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here. It's been a few days since I posted a video. I've been on vacation, enjoying the coast over at Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk with the family, lots of fun. Went camping in the mountains in the Tahoe National Forest. Lots of fun, just too many bear encounters. It was crazy. But guys, when I got back, I had a watch sitting in the mailbox from Phoebus. I knew this was coming. Ethan got a hold of me and let me know that they wanted to send one out for a review on the channel, really get a chance to check it out. So I was excited to look at it because they've made some great changes to the PY007 series, as you guys guys know them. They have the uh, black model, the blue model, which is the one we're going to look at today, and also the green model. Now, uh, I'm really excited about it because the changes they made include Loom, which I think is very great, and they have removed the Cyclops, which I think is an awesome, awesome thing. So let's go ahead and get the box open. As you guys can see, it comes in this standard packaging from Phoebus, which is very nicely done. Good, nicely padded box with the kind of this nylon coating on the top of it. The Phoebus logo there and a false leather emblazoned in blue, which is a beautiful blue, I think, and a nice snap closure here, also uh, stitching all the way around on the box. So let's go ahead and get this open and take a quick look at it. Whoop, there goes the paperwork. As usual, Phoebus always has it packaged nicely on there, there on top. As you guys can see, they have the octopus logo there always facing up. This is their instruction manual here. And inside the instruction manual, we will get, uh, let's see, the rest of the paperwork in here. We have probably, yeah, we've got the return information uh, as far as shipping, if you have any issues with it. Now make sure you read all of this uh, information down here on these cards. You do have your two year warranty on the automatic watches here and you have your repair application. Make sure that when you get a watch like this, guys, you read all of the paperwork involved uh, you know, with it. And of course you have your operating manual, which I think covers a number of their different watches, including their quartz series and stuff like that. So definitely cool. Check it out, make sure you read what you get, guys. So I have, taken this watch out guys i've taken the plastic off, plastic excuse me off of the watch uh, just to make it easier to show it on camera i have adjusted it to my wrist stick around for a wrist shot and a loom shot at the end we're going to get an outdoor loom shot because the loom on this watch is spectacular all right guys so what we're looking at here is the py 007b from phoebus watches uh, an absolutely stunning watch like i said available in black blue or the green model. Now what I'll do here is just show this to you for a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera so we can get a better view of this watch. But guys, first impressions, I absolutely love this watch. I have spent only, not even 24 hours with this watch guys and it's a stunner. It really is neat, beautifully done and uh, we'll get into it here in just a second. Let me adjust the camera. All right guys, so here we go, diving a little bit deeper into this watch. Now let me go ahead and unscrew the crown here so we can get these hands adjusted into a better position to look at. So this watch is running as usual per this series, the Miyota 9015, which is a really nice high beat hacking and hand windable movement from Miyota. Actually one of their better and uh, running movements for a micro brand out there. Go ahead and pull that crown out. You guys can see that second hand stop there. And let's get this in a better position position. Actually, I'm going to bring it down here so we can get just a better look at the dial on this watch. Get that hand moving. Now, in the first position, this is a windable movement. As you guys can see here, I'm actually winding the movement. In the first position out from that, you can actually adjust the date on this watch. Excuse me, wrong way there. And so very nice there. Screw down crown on this watch done very nicely. Screws down nice and tight. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right, now that we got the hands out of the way, guys, let's talk about this beautiful blue sunburst dial on this watch. Now, a little bit hard to capture here under the lights. It's actually the AR coating uh, on the sapphire crystals picking up a little bit, but you guys can definitely see the stunning dial on this watch here. You have applied indices on this watch. All of the watch is coated, including the bezel indices, with a BWG9, or excuse me, BGW9 loom on this. This has 12 layers, which is really impressive because some of your bigger brands will use the, uh, the BGW9 up to 15 layers. So for a watch at this $300 price point to have 12 layers is really, really imp impressive, I think. So as you guys can see, they removed the Phoebus logo up there at the 12 o'clock position and replaced it with the Grand Octopus, which I think was a great idea. And also another awesome upgrade to this was they removed, I think is nice, they removed the Cyclops there at the three o'clock position, left it plain on the crystal. I know a lot of people were getting these watches and actually removing that Cyclops, which I can't really argue with <clears throat> with that, I don't really like it on there. Also, they removed the large uh, pip at the 12 o'clock on the bezel that was kind of stuck out quite a bit, and they've replaced that with just the filled-in loom 
uh, on the uh, on the bezel there. I will get a loom shot at the end. We'll get an outdoor loom shot because it's nice, bright, and sunny here in California. Now down at the bottom, as you guys can see, we have the divers automatic, the 300 meters, and that's it. I mean, it's or excuse me, divers 300 meters and automatic. That's it. It's very very cleanly done on the dial. Each of the indices is applied, as I said, with the little chrome around the outside or the polished around the outside of that uh, that uh, BGW9 indice there. Very nicely done watch. This is a 120 click bezel on this watch, as you guys can hear it turning around here. Locks in very nice and tight, as most of the Phoebus uh, bezels that I've had do. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I saw back play, but what I'm actually doing is I go a little bit past actually on accident, so it's not that big of a deal. So. Okay, as you guys can see, the case is very similar to what, you know, would see like a Sea Dweller from Rolex or anything like that. But I really think with the dial and stuff like that, they've really kind of started walking away from it. Yeah, the hands, the Mercedes style hand and stuff like that. But these watches to me kind of stand on their own. Very nicely done. You have polishing on the top of the case and on the bracelet. On the sides of the case and also on the sides of the bracelet, you have polishing. Did I say polishing, brushing, brushing, polishing? Yeah, brushed on top, psh, polished on the sides like that, as you guys can see there. The crown on this is signed with the Grand Octopus, octopus excuse me, as you guys can see. Very nice polishing done on this watch. The bracelet is a push pin style bracelet. I know that'll come up as a question. This is not screw links, and these are not a pin and collar system. These are standard split in pins on these, and which I actually prefer. I, I actually really like this style of a setup. I think it works well. You're looking at a case dimension of 40 millimeters side to side, not including the crown. Lug tip to lug tip, you're looking at 47 millimeters, which is a great size. You're looking at 13 millimeters of thickness overall in the case of this watch. So you have a 20 millimeter lug opening here, guys, too. So if you want to change out the strap, put a NATO strap on it. As you guys can see, of course, solid in links, which Phoebus has done for a while. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the three, uh, you know, the locking clasp here. You have the two button. Uh, opening there, nice machined bars on the inside of here, the fold over safety clasp, of course. Looking at the back of the watch, you will see the familiar logo from Phoebus, the automatic there, and the divers 1,000 feet or 300 meters, sapphire crystal, and the Phoebus. Only place on the watch that it says Phoebus is right there on the case back, which I think is kind of cool, kind of unique. Beautiful polishing also uh, outside of the brushed case back. You have polishing here on the bottom of the case. So beautiful watch, you know, of course, from Phoebus, as you guys know, I'm, I'm kind of a big fanboy of them. I know that they have in the past had a few quality control issues. I've never received a watch from them with much of an issue. I did have really tight screw links on my WaveMaster when I bought it. I think I said in the video, I soaked it in oil and was able to undo those screws. No problem on my own, but I know other people have had other problems. They've since changed most of their manufacturer over to a place in Hong Kong where they're doing it and they're getting really, really good luck and producing some absolutely stunning and beautiful watches. If I didn't say so before, all of the construction metal on this watch is 316L stainless steel. So guys, let's go ahead and get this watch on the wrist so you guys can see what it's gonna look like on you. I have a seven inch wrist, by the way. All right, guys, so here's the watch on my seven inch wrist. Absolutely stunning, stunning dial and colors on this watch. I love this blue. I'm a Dodgers fan, so this color is just, yeah, right on for me. And I really love the the octopus. Now it's kind of hard to tell. I think you guys will pick it up when I take this out in the sunlight for the loom shot. That is a, the the octopus is kind of metallic. It's got a little sparkly metallic look to it, so it's really cool. So let's go ahead and get this outside for the loom shot to close out, guys. And I'll leave links down below as to where you can uh, get one of these or get on the pre-order for these. These are on pre-order right now. And also, uh, this will be a tour watch, guys. So I will leave links to all the other channels this watch will be going out to. Uh, down below in the description. So let's get the loom shot here for you. All right, so let's get some sun on this watch. Absolutely stunning dial. Look at that, guys. Look at that blue sunburst. Isn't that great? Seven interest I have there. So let's get it in the dark here and see what we have. Oh no, just locked myself out. Dude, why do you do that? I locked doors behind me. All right, guys. Here's the loom shot. Look at that. This thing glows like a absolute torch. And it glows all night long. I didn't even shut the door behind me, but it glows all night long. I wore it last night to bed after I got it, charged it with a flashlight and 
glowed all night. So, all right, guys, there's the loom shot. Thanks for putting up with the locked door. All right, guys, take it easy. If you've not subscribed to the OFD channel, please do. Please do.